Now we have Olama native tools, also called as function calling. So here is the latest news, Olama Python library with function calling improvements, which means previously your code looked like this with function definition, but now it's only this much amount of code to add your own tool or function. And you can directly mention that in the tools variable. So why we need tools? By default, when you ask what is the stock price of Apple to any large language model, it's going to say, I don't have real time data, but how we can fix this? by introducing tools. Using tools, when we ask the same question, what is the stock price of Apple? It's going to use function calling or tool call and then initiate the get stock price function with the symbol Apple and the tool will receive the symbol Apple and returns the stock price of Apple. Then the large language model AI will respond the stock price of Apple is 235 USD. This is exactly what we're going to do now. By the end of this video, you will learn how you can create a custom tool. It could be your own private tool and integrate that with Olama, how to use async and finally how to use existing functions. You don't want to miss the last existing functions, which is one of the advanced things which I think will make things much more easier. Even if you are an absolute beginner, you should be able to follow step by step and I will provide all the code in the description below. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. So first step, creating a custom tool. So in our terminal, pip install Olama and Yahoo Finance. Olama is the main package and Yahoo Finance is for getting the stock price. And then click enter. Now the main package has got installed. Go to olama.com and make sure you download Olama based on your operating system. Next in your terminal, Olama pull Llama 3.2 and then click enter. This will download this large language model or the AI. Next, let's create a file called app.py and let's open it. So inside the file, first import Olama, next Yahoo Finance, next dict any and callable. Now we are creating a function called get stock price and calling Yahoo Finance with the symbol that is AAPL will pass here. Then we are just returning the regular market price or the last price, that's it. Just this one small function. You can even replace this with your own function, own tool, own application. Step number two, how you can integrate this with Olama. So now we are going to ask a question that is what is the current stock price of Apple and providing the available functions that is get stock price. Get stock price is the only function we are going to use. That is the tool called. Next, olama.chat and then providing the model name llama3.2, role user and the content is the prompt. So the prompt is the question which we are going to ask. So you can replace this with any question you like. And here is the tool call. We are just defining the get stock price function, which is defined here. Next, we are going to check if there is any tool call is initiated. Based on that, we are going to get the tool call function name. So this response will send back the name of the function. So we are getting the name of the function, the value of the argument. So this is going to be AAPL. This is going to be get stock price. And finally, we are calling that function get stock price in the brackets, it's going to be AAPL. That's it. As a quick summary, we created our own custom function. We integrated with olama.chat by just mentioning the tool name here. And then we are parsing the tool name, getting the argument that is AAPL and running the tool. Now I'm going to run this code in your terminal, Python app.py and then click enter. And here is the response. Calling function, get stock price and the argument. So the symbol is AAPL. So here is what the AI does. So AI knows the stock symbol for Apple is AAPL. So it converts this question from Apple to AAPL. You can provide whatever company name here and based on that, it's going to convert that to the symbol and use that symbol to run the function and get this value. In this way, you are going to add your custom tools or functions to Olama like this. Step number three, how to use async. Here is another two function add two numbers and subtract two numbers. By default, large language model or the AI doesn't add those values. It predicts those values. So it doesn't know how to add numbers or subtract numbers. So we are going to create a function for adding and subtracting numbers. Same like before, we are passing those two functions in the tools variable. So to convert this to async, we are just using async IO library, adding async to the main function, initiating the async client, and finally, async.run. Those are those small changes. 
And the question which we are going to ask is, what is three plus one? Now I'm going to run this code, Python async tools. And what is three plus one? That is the question. And it's calling the function called add two numbers and the arguments a1 and b3 and the function output is four. That is nice. And the final step, use existing functions. So here is the existing function called requests. So Python by default has many different functions and you can even install many different functions from Python packages. So you can use directly those function in tools. So request.request .request is a function and we can define directly here. This is one of the easiest way to add tools. And this is going to make things much more easier. Rather than us creating our own tools, we can use all the existing tools inside Olama. So define that here. So this request.request, .request, what it does is go to the URL and scrapes that data and returns the value. That's the function of this tool. So we just imported that and added the tool here. So same as before, we are going to ask our question. The question is get the olama.com web page or it could be get the mer.ban web page. That is my web page. And then same as before, we are getting the function name, getting the URL and getting the method. Method could be get method. And finally, we are printing the response. That's it. So we imported that package, defined that here and running that function using function to call. Now I'm going to run this code in your terminal, running that. And here is the output. This is a HTML code, but you can use other tools to convert this to Markdown. But you can clearly see it's able to read all the contents from my web page. That is super cool. You can even add more URLs here and make it crawl many pages. That'll be super cool. For now, I'm going to leave it here and let you try this out and let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Considering you already like Olama, I've already created a video regards to Olama, which I'll put that in the description and also in the screen. And I highly recommend for you to watch that. So do click that and I will see you there.